What's up guys? I hope you can see me. Man, the light is so bright. Um, so this is just a quick little video. Um, I'm making it for you guys. This is a, um, if you saw my previous video, you saw this. This is a, um, a B16, uh, B16A cable trans. Um, so I'm, all I'm gonna be doing here is showing you like a quick little, quick little video. Um, a quick tip, you can count, uh, count the gears on third to, so you can find out what kind of transmission it is. You can look that up online. Um, first, reverse, second, third, fourth, fifth. Um, as you can see here, it's all in working order. This is the reverse gear. Well, this is the reverse gear, but here's the, what engages it. This is all the synchros and all that fun stuff. The forks that hold it all together. Clutch. Um, this is the shifter right here. Um, and yeah, so if you do ever get to crack a transmission open, um, I'm trying to be in the frame. Hopefully I am. If you do ever uh, crack a transmission open, just do your best to be as clean as possible. I tried really, really hard to be tidy and, you know, taking it apart, taking off some of the old silicone. Uh, I'm going to be putting on some new silicone and then put the casing back on. And, um, that's about it. Um, this transmission seems to be in working order. I hope the video can catch it. Here, uh, here's reverse. This is the only gear that has like little tiny grinds. Every other gear looks pretty spotless. So, um, like I said, just be very, very, you know, careful um, not to get anything in here. So, that's about it. Here's some dowel. There's a dowel here. There's a dowel on the top. You can put it together. You gotta line those up. Pop it in and then clip on the ring. I'll show you guys all of that. Um, exactly how I do it and it works for me, so. So, the last bit of the time lapse, you probably noticed um, I had my needle nose right here. Now there's a pin in here. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Uh, I spread it open so it can go over the, the bearing there. Um, and then just knocked it down with the hammer to make sure it gets in, in, down there. So now, um, just gonna make sure the, the dowel pins are lined up. There's one up there, one back there. And it is pretty lined up. So, for just a rubber mallet because you don't want to crack your casing. Kind of get it to move around a little bit. And it'll slowly start to close. As you probably noticed right there. So, let me unmount the camera for a second here. Um, if you look in there, see if I can get it to show. Nope. Um, but you know what? I have a solution. If you look in there, you're gonna notice there's a uh, see those one little arm right there, and one little arm down there. Uh, it's wrapped around the bearing right now, and it's not fully seated. So uh, what I have, I have trouble sometimes getting it to fully seat like this. And I don't want to beat the crap out of my transmission in order to make this happen. So what I do is I uh, tighten up all the bolts and then uh, once it's all like deep, just hand tighten the every single end, I, I just flip it over and knock it a little bit and you hear the click of the ring. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. All right, so I uh, snugged up all the bolts. I don't go crazy, you know, Hulk tight, because I'm 
I'm a skinny guy, I can't. <laughs> and, because I really don't want to crack my casing, I don't think you need to make them that tight anyways. Um, so, let's see here, let me grab the flashlight so you guys can see. You want to say hi, Emma? You want to say hi to everybody? No, she doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, you want to say hi? So if you see that that snap ring like I was showing you guys before, hopefully I can do this all with two hands. There we go, let's see. You see that one edge right there? And another edge on this side. Look at the lighting, I, ju I just can't point it out. So as you see there, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to, Um, just get the bolt that covers the top. Um, I'm just gonna barely hand, not even hand tying, just put it in place. And I'm gonna uh, flip it over and hopefully you guys will be able to hear the crack while my daughter's playing with all these uh, water bottles. Oh, the camera right there. Let's see if we can. Uh, You guys heard that? So let's see what, uh, what exactly happened here. So I believe I heard the, the ring clip in. I'm gonna take this off. So you can see. And as you can see, that clip is just a little bit closer. It's not edge to edge anymore. And uh, that ring is now holding holding the uh, transmission together. So that's really it. Um, what I'm gonna do now, so I'm going to put these bolts on right here. Tighten it up a little bit. Nothing crazy. I'm just gonna make sure it's flush with the transmission like it was before. Plus I'm not able to apply a crazy amount of torque with just a wrench anyways. Make it nice and snug. Same right there with the drain bolt. Make it nice and snug. Nothing crazy. I believe this is a 14 millimeter right here. Same thing. snug nothing crazy and that's it all right guys so right here i didn't explain in the video but be sure that you remember to tighten up the bolt that goes into the reverse gear be sure you tighten that up because that's extremely important here's the, what holds on to my cable engages the clutch all i have to left to do on my transmission is replace the uh the clip that belonged here because as you can see, there isn't any. So I'm probably just gonna strip this all, replace this clip, and uh, also paint the transmission. I'm gonna paint it all in aluminum. I'll show you guys that when uh, the time comes, which is probably gonna be very soon. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this really short video. Um, wasn't much, but guys got to see inside our transmission and all that fun stuff, right? So. I'll see you guys later, please subscribe, like, and comment, and uh, peace.